Okay, I just have to say, my husband is a genius. He's saying that, I know, I know, I know. He'll never let me live this down. But oh my god, I don't know what he did, but the setting is so good. I'm not yellow. Huh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just created the dancing Avon lady, and tonight's another episode of What's for Dinner. So tonight we're gonna make this really simple stir fry. Yes, I know, I love the stir fries. It's easy and it's. Well, it's just easy and it's fast. So what we're making is we're actually making a chayote mushroom stir fry with Chinese sausage. So chayote is this. It's part of, I think you pronounce it gourd, gourd family. Um, it's kind of similar to kind of like a squashy cucumber, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of sweet. It's quite yummy. Um, they call it different things throughout the world. And I'm just looking up and some places they call it the pear squash, um, the vegetable pear and... In Australia, New Zealand, they call it a choco. Yes, a Christophine choco. Or in Hawaii, they call it the pinolia. P -p -p anyways, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyways, chayote, which is this little green thing here. Um, we're using the dried mushrooms, and today I'm using this brand. And that you basically you can get them at most of your Asian grocery stores. They, mm, they smell delicious. Um, and my grandma's always said that how to find the nice ones is look for the ones with lots of flowers. So I'm assuming when she says flowers, it's the little markings here. She says that indicates it's a good one. So all you, all you have to do to prepare these is stick them in a bowl, rinse them off first, and then I rehydrate them just by using some um, hot water. So I just rehydrated by using some hot water and I let it sit for about an hour, hour and a half. You can use cold water, it just takes longer. So I think my grandma used to do it like overnight or if she wants to cook it at night, she'll do it earlier on in the day. And then Chinese sausage is just this. This one is a uh, pork and chicken mix. These are not healthy. I'm not saying that this is healthy. This is just yummy. Um, but what I do do is I, I slice them up and then I um, I render out some of the fat so it's not quite as unhealthy, but it is delicious. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is we are actually going to prep the chayote. So prepping the chayote is really simple. All you do is you peel it like this. I forgot to, to mention what these are called in Chinese. So in Chinese, these are actually called hap zheng gua, which kind of translates to, I think, um, Buddha's palm, because it's supposed to look like they're kind of, like their palms are together praying, I think is what my, my, my grandma taught me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like this. And so what I don't enjoy about this vegetable is that when you peel it, it causes this like slimy, film on your hands and when it dries it becomes really cracked it's really hard to get off it takes me like a good couple good couple of hand washings I'll, I'll show you later like how, how it dries up my hands and yes you're going to hear a lot of no background noise today because um Nelson's doing right now is baby's watching Blippi so after you have your um child tail peeled what I do is I cut it down the middle here like so and then there's a little pit or a seed in the middle that you want to scoop out. So I just use a little teaspoon and just I carve around it. And that's it. That's it. And then for here, the middle part, to get the rest of the skin off, I just use my knife. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to slice and dice. All right, so the child is all cut up and now we're going to work on the sausage. The sausage is really easy. All you have to do, take it out of package, rinse it real quick. Just, I don't know, we rinse all of our stuff. So you gotta rinse it real quick and then you just slice it really on angles. So now, ah, you can start seeing it. I don't know if you can see it in the in the camera, but you can see how it starts to like crack. See that? See that? And I've washed my hands like three times already. So that's from the chayote. I've tried using coconut oil to rub it off, 
washing it several times, but it, it like tightens as it dries. Almost like a peel off mask. <laughs> My hands don't look any younger afterwards. All right, so now I'm gonna work with the mushrooms. So the mushrooms are really easy. I used to take the mushrooms out, put it on a cutting board, and then cut, 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 cut. But the problem with that, it, it, because they're so hydrated right now, see all that, that, that liquid? If you put it on your cutting board, it's just going to spill over all over the place. And then also, you lose all that flavor, all that umami flavor. So all I do now is I literally just, just take a pair of scissors. I snip the stem first. All right, and I leave that aside. So, and then the rest of it, I just cut and let it fall into the bowl. Like that. Again. Cut off the stem, because the stem is actually a lot woodier than the rest of the, um, the mushroom. And then I just snip. And you can cut them even smaller if you want. I'll cut a couple pieces extra small, just so that it's easier for baby to eat. So you just do that to the whole bowl. Let everything just go back into the bowl of the uh, of the mushroom fluids. I guess. So now, what we're gonna do is um, we're actually going to start rendering out some of the fat in the sausage, but while I do the mushrooms, it just kind of saves time. So I turn the stove onto a low a medium low heat because I don't want the heat to be too high Woo, and then the was like and then no oil I just pop these babies in all right and of course make sure it is a low medium heat because you don't want the, the sausage to burn so I finished cutting up all of the mushrooms and some of the pieces of stem that were a little bit softer I just cut them into even smaller pieces just to make them a little bit easier to chew because they are a little bit tougher. And so I just put everything back into the, the soaking liquids. And I let it, literally, I let it keep soaking until I need to use them so that I can get as much fleet, like uh, get them as like rehydrated as possible and also get as much flavor into what's gonna be eventually my stock base for the dish. That's so gross. <laughs> Happens every time. So now I have let the extra fat render out. So I'm gonna get rid of that excess fat and then get to cooking. So the rest of the execution is actually really simple. All I do now is I pour in all the diced chayote into the sausage. Medium heat and a little bit of water. That steam, put on a lid, and let that cook for a couple of minutes. All right, so I learned some cool facts about chayote while I was waiting for it to cook. I was doing some reading. So remember how I said that it, this dish isn't healthy? It's not that the vegetable itself isn't healthy. It's actually my application of it that's not healthy. It's simply because of the Chinese sausage. It's very fatty and there's preservatives and blah, blah. But once in a while, everything in moderation, and it just... It tastes so good. But um, the actual uh, gourd itself, the chayote, is actually a really healthy vegetable. It's because it's relatively low calorie, but high in fiber. It's also high in vitamin C, folate, and various trace minerals. Um, apparently, you can eat it raw, steamed, stuffed. You can, there's like hundreds of applications for it, but I, we like it this way, or in soups. It's really good in soups. So let's go now check on our veggie. Ooh, that looks so nice. Okay, so the colors are more vibrant. So give a quick stir. What I want to do now is I'm actually going to just take my mushrooms, water and everything, and just pour it in. And then give it a good mix. Oh, I missed one. Ha! Huh? Back in the chopper you go. So now I just put the lid back on. I'm gonna let that come to boil, let it simmer for a few minutes. And then we just need to add our final touches to the sauce and it's ready to eat. So the veggies are cooked. All I'm gonna do now is I'm adding in a little bit of ginger. I added a little bit of oyster sauce. Give that a mix. 
You can add salt and pepper to taste if you want. I usually don't add salt to this because the sausage is already salty and the oyster sauce also has salt. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of sesame oil, which I'm also running low on. I have to go grocery shopping. And then if you want at the very end, you add a little bit of cornstarch mixed with water just to thicken it up a little bit so you have a nice saucy gravy type thing to add over rice. Alright, so let's try this out. Ooh, hot. Mmm, oh, so good. The chocolate is actually really, really juicy. So, although it's fibrous, it's not like dry fibrous. It has a really nice texture, and then the juices inside just kind of like ooze onto your tongue. It's quite nice. And then the mushrooms. Mmm, oh my gosh. So good, so packed with flavor. Mmm, and the lap too. Uh, don't even say anything to it. Mm. I'm gonna go finish up having dinner. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like videos like this, learning how to how I cook, please give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.